One of you is an APS-C size sensor, one's a tiny micro one inch loser sensor, and who's about to handle that, <laughs> that better? We got one of them's a Canon, one of them's a Sony. What's your guess? What's your guess? That's bright. Not that it's a flip up screen, of course. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So have you had your guess yet? One of them's the Canon M6 Mark II with the 11 to 22 millimeter lens. The other is the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1. Sorry, Gerald. <laughs> Sorry, Gerald. <laughs> okay. I had to crop in here, but let's be real with ourselves. Let's be real with it. That's what we came here for. That's why we're here. Look at the wideness. Do we prefer it? Do we prefer it? There's no digital stay bond yet. I just wanted to see Little Sony with a one inch. Does it look better than the Canon APS-C? I just, I have a feeling it does. And what's the more pleasing focal length to you? Cause I keep changing my mind. I keep thinking, oh, I want this super long lens, but I'm happy with the 24 mil. This is maybe a bit tight since it's a 33 mil equivalent. I proved it in the last video. Check that out. I don't mind the focal length though. It's kind of, nice it's a pain in the ass to have to hold it so far away but i feel like you get that special look by suffering nobody's willing to do this they don't even have the monkey strength to do it they haven't read the mighty book well why haven't they done it it's available down below versus this super wide kind of goofy but i kind of like it too it's fun it is is that dressers I kind of want it. Sony would have never shown you that. We have a bunch of fun. So really this review is gonna be all about this Canon M6 Mark II, but I wanna compare it to some of its competitors, the ZV-1, <laughs> that guy was curious. The ZV-1, we got the GoPro in my right pocket, and we might even have the Canon RP with the 16 to 35. Tony 4. Stabilized lens. Is it more stable than this? So I have a feeling this is kind of shaky. Is it? You seeing warpy shit? I'm gonna turn digital stab on now. We'll say goodbye to the Sony for now. Sorry, little Sony. I'll see you soon, buddy. All right, we're just on the Canon M6 digital stabilization, and we'll test the enhanced version because we still got plenty of room to crop. I bet you that enhanced is fantastic on here. So first, I have to get a couple things off my chest. The tripod mount mistake made again. You can't get the battery door out. Maybe it's close. It's right there. Maybe with another... My head's only that big. So battery and SD card locked in there until I take my tripod off. That's kind of annoying. Worse. You can only film in 4K in either full manual with auto ISO or full auto. I tried manual, but then you can't like auto the shutter and then you can't expose, you can only do with ISO. So now I'd have to be like, okay, let's bump up the shutter and then we'll play with the auto ISO. It's not gonna look right. So when I started this clip, I saw Tony 11 on there and I was like, oh great, that's great. So we're basically GoPro footage, speaking of which. How are y'all doing right now? Can you tell them apart? One's a tiny smartphone size sensor with a digital crop. The other is the Canon loser camera of the century. <laughs> GoPro's on your left, Canon on your right. Is the stabilization matched? I did minus one EV because it's so sunny. I know that that's the key here. I probably should have done that on the Canon. Am I even allowed? Probably not. Tell you that much. Back litten. GoPro without a flippy screen, so I can't tell if I've hidden the sun. I could have just used the obvious shadow. I'm a moron. I 
Canon. Maybe it looks bright. Bright future. I find the GoPro to be pretty fantastic in good light like this. I have 12 seconds. Is this good content? It's definitely not. Let's cut to the next segment. I don't know why every time I compared the GoPro with the Sony, the GoPro got nervous or something and it just looked like trash. Where it can look good. It can look decent. It should be looking decent right now. Can't guarantee it. Cannot guarantee it. I thought they were gonna wave. They got shy, like the GoPro. What is with all the noise today? So how's the stabilization behaving with the digital? Let's switch it up to the enhanced. Say goodbye to our little GoPro friend. See you later, buddy. There's a flower shop. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. There's the focal length we needed. We're in enhanced at the 11 mil, but it crops in like 59 times. If that is smooth, although our sensor is now less than a one inch probably, I found the Canon R with the 15 to 35 lens with enhanced stabilization to be so super smooth, but it was so heavy to hold it out there. Whereas this, that's not so bad. And it feels kind of similar to the Olympus. I have a feeling this is fantastic, but we get zero background blur. Let me, I'm gonna go into manual mode so I can take control of my shutter like a pro would. None of this friendly stuff. There, now we're at a friendly 1250 shutter. How the pros do it. Then you get karate-like movements. That's how you do it. He paused. He was gonna turn, but he changed his mind. What a loser. <laughs> He's a photographer. Okay, it seemed to gradually change, so ISO probably bumped up a notch. I would rather the camera just expose with shutter and ISO, making whatever fun decisions it wants, but it doesn't. While I was perusing in that quick menu, I saw an HDR mode. Let's dare we dream that right now. Oh wow, that got dramatic. What the hell happened? Our stabilization is gone. Look at the sky though. Oh my God, and I'm still exposed. Oh, this is the most fantastic mode I've ever seen. Canon. Does it look fake or the best? Are there zebras? No, that's just acne. That's just acne. Is this the ultimate life hack confirmed? It's probably too shaky though, even if it did look good. The fact that the sun is up there and I'm like still exposed, that is weird. That just feels unnatural. Wow. HDR. I remember the Fuji X-T200. One of those cameras had it, but it looked so terrible. My skin was all red. Canon has much better skin tones. No, they don't. That was a lie. All right, I'm gonna assume this is a gimmick. We'll switch back to standard and then we'll compare the RP, full frame, similar focal lengths. Is there a mosquito on my app? Can you tell which one is full frame? Which one is the RP? Canon M6 versus RP. Is it obvious? It probably isn't. Cause you know why? The cripple hammer was relentless in these two. Same thing here. Oh, I just gave it away. The Canon RP is on your right. We got the same problem on this camera. There's just full auto or manual with auto ISO. There's no like aperture priority or shutter priority if you're a freak filmmaker that somehow needs that 180 degree shutter rule like a freak that's heavy and look how much bigger this is and it doesn't have 4k so we're in 1080p here and 4k here my god what is the point of this thing it better be the best thing in the studio or something it's it's not light because the lens is so heavy so oh we got a light camera the lens is heavy so therefore the whole thing's heavy we're in the darkness Full frame, show your glory. Show it to us. Where is it? We're probably at like Tony 15 anyway. I can't even show off the F4. It's bullshit. Let's say goodbye to the M6 for now. Let's see if we can get some semblance of dignity on the RP here. Show us at Tony 4 at least. Come on now. I 
felt like I'm out of focus. What the hell is happening? If you were curious as to why that whole segment was just looking terrible, I was in 30p on the Canon RP and 24p on the other one, and I mixed them together, and I'm a moron. That's pretty much all we got. We do have 4K in here, but it's that crop, and I think no dual pixel autofocus, so we'll test it. But my god, so right now, we're in 1080p, 24p, stabilization, digital, on. Got an adapted lens, it's an EF lens. Do we have any tone? It's F4, but there could be tone. And if there is, it's your duty to tell me about it. You have to tell me. <laughs> There's no slow-mo. We'll see what happens when I see this footage myself. Usually, I bash a camera, and then I get the footage, and I'm like, oh, wow, that actually looks pretty good. So we'll see if that happens, but I kind of think the full-frame vlogging dream is dead. It doesn't appear to be happening. It's too heavy because the lenses. But really, all I've been able to test are these stupid zoom lenses. I think what I should have asked for is that 24mm Tony 2.8. That would have been it. That's a smaller lens. Doable. Let's turn the enhanced stabilization on. Oh, the glory. Oh, God. Is it smoother? We're on enhanced stabilization. We'll test 4K next. See if the contrast detection autofocus borrowed from Panasonic's worst nightmares came true for us. Let's find out. My arm's burning. Not that much, thanks to the Monkey Strength Pro. I already advertised that. Let's leave. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. What are you talking about, crop? Where's the crop? I don't see one. <laughs> it's still doing the eye autofocus thing. We do have enhanced stabilization on, so I'll turn that off soon, but I just... We good, Canon? Is it focusing on me? Is it glorious 4K, full frame? Is it living up to its potential? Or did the Canon cripple hammer How'd you even fit in the shot? It's such a crop. I don't mind the crop. It's cinematic. It should be $200. Oh man, even with the regular digital crop, that's pretty tight for a 16 mil turning into this somehow. I feel like the autofocus is getting me though. Is there dual pixel in 4K? I thought there wasn't. It's the best autofocus we've ever seen. That is for sure. In fact, let's do a little test of it. For the heck of it, here's the GoPro next to it. Is GoPro better than a full frame camera? That would not look good for you, Canon. Is a bee hovering? I don't fear them. They're fine. They just want sugar. You do have blood sugar, so there is the potential they bite you and sting you and eat you. Alive. I have been stung by a hornet. It did hurt. There is footage of it on my Vegetable Conspiracies channel. <laughs> I like to eat my meal at like 10 a.m. Ow! Motherfucker! What the fuck was that? Oh, a hornet nest. Oh, my record button fell off. Why? Why, nature? Why do you do it, nature? I would laugh if this GoPro looks better somehow right now. I know the stabilization would be better, but just considering how much that system weighs and costs compared to the GoPro, you just put it in your pocket. My goodness. So let me know what you thought. What do you want me to test? What can we compare? Do you even care about these cameras? I know I've got a bunch of requests for that M6 Mark II. 
So we've seen it. We've seen it against the Sony on its apparent vlogging lens. That wind is picking. It's picking up. I actually filmed a comparison with the M6 Mark II versus the Sony at night last night. I haven't even seen the footage yet, so let's take a gander at that. Okay. One of these is a Canon, little nerdy Canon. The other is a Sony. One's a point and shoot. One's a mirrorless. One costs the same amount of money as the other. And the other is way more. So which camera looks like an APS-C sensor and which looks like a one inch sensor? I just fooled you by looking at the opposite while saying that. We got the Canon on your right. Canon M6 Mark II with the 11 to 22 mil lens. And we got the little Sony ZV-1. No lens allowed. It's a 33 mil equivalent. That's painful. F2, oh my God, what the hell? How? How? Tone it. The Canon was in 1080p that whole time. Why does this keep happening to my life? Why am I this dumb? You can do auto ISO. So that's cool if we go into a dark alley. This is illegal. Sony's so much brighter. And clipping the sky at night. Explain that one. It's nighttime. It's like 9 p.m. That's so much brighter and better. Cannon, what are you doing? And I'm all red and weird. Adjust already. A lot of user error for sure, but we'll get used to it. Here's with no digital stabe. That's actually a somewhat usable shot, but how is it going to perform with only lens stabilization? I'm walking towards a man sitting on a bench. That was the wrong ass move. Still overexposed. There's the bench, man. <laughs> that could have gone wrong fast. Is it amazing? I doubt it. Thank you to Camera Canada for lending me this gear. Wow, probably should have done that in the beginning. <laughs> My God, they got me the Sony. They got me both these Canons. Fantastic company. Thank you so much. Canada's greatest camera company. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> so let me know what you want to see next. I have the M6 and the RP for a little while. Test G9 versus M6. <laughs> and how's this looking? Fantastic. I'm going to leave. Thanks for buying it. Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.